Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get started, and uh, I don't wanna like run this problem on an example. We're like running super short on time, and there's like really interesting stuff to work and so I wanna jump to the new category. Yeah, actually, there's another problem that I wanted to solve, but it's it's way in between. Like, should I solve this problem in a category that we already discussed versus like discussing new stuff? So, like, go ahead and solve this yourself. I'm gonna move on. Sorry about that. It's just bad luck or bad planning on my part, I should say. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, iteration. So, till now, like all of the topics that I spoke about in last class, and all of the topics that I spoke about in this class were what? Involved what? Tree traversal? Yeah. Even this is tree traversal, but what style of tree traversal? Recursion, right? Like every problem that we saw up, up until this point involves like, there's a function, and then within the function, you make recursive calls to the same function on the left and right shoulder, right? Well, only these three problems involve, and, and the next slide, they involve problems with iteration. So why would somebody necessarily choose iteration? Like, what are the trade-offs? All the time memory. Yeah. So if, if you're doing recursion, then by, by, like, inherently, that takes up space on the call stack. So you either end up doing, like, O of n or O of log n, depending on the tree, right? So sometimes they may prefer iteration, but the style of iteration that we're gonna do today involves using either a stack or queue, which is also O of n or O of log n. Hey, so we are like running super short on time, and I should have also solved like another problem. <laughs> I actually plan to solve this in the class, but we don't have time, so like skipping steps. Okay, sorry about that. I can, I'll, I'll be like okay to like, like do a session with you. Like just show you how oh, cool. that problem works on that example, if you want to, later. Okay. Okay? Okay, so iteration means you don't call the function recursively within itself, and then you still solve the problem, right? That's the definition. So, actually that's not the definition. That's the definition by like the principle of exclusion. Like you exclude recursion, and recursion means you call the function within itself. And the only other strategy left is iteration. So if you don't do that, then you're doing iteration. So yeah. Okay, this is very interesting. Okay, so this problem asks you to implement an iterator over a BSD. So, uh, w what's an iterator? Awesome. That's the definition. That's like the formal definition, like the theoretical definition, but there's also like something you can, like what is the API of an iterator? Yeah, so that means it's just an object on which you can call these methods. And if, if the iterator currently is looking at a certain value and you call next, it will return the next value. So it's just an object that traverses a data structure in a certain order. Okay, and has next just tells you do you have the next guy or not. Make sense? 
you see next exam the current route uh, follow out the the route like three example but yeah. they are and modify say next that would give me the value of the current value or the next value you see no yeah uh, yeah next gives the current value current value and as yeah. we the java api gives the current value yeah so next gives the current value as we move to the next move point and the iterator next. also moves yeah. one check Hashnext move the pointer to the next. Yeah, Hashnext is just a boolean. It tells you true or false. Tell us whether it has an experiment or not. Okay, so next will return a value and move the pointer to the next. Yes. So it does a next will also check a Hashnext condition before moving to the yeah, next. Yeah, no, you it's on you to do Hashnext. Yeah. Okay. If Hashnext is true alone, then only you need to call next, or else it should throw an exception or something like that. Okay. So for each data structure, the iterator data definition varies, but this is like. Like w what is true for all iterators? Like you could have something more specific for each data structure that you're iterating over. So let's look at this. Oops, sorry. So you have to fill in these methods. So you yeah. So basically, if you're given a tree. You just pass its root to the constructor, and it will return an object of this type. And this will return true if it has a next node that it can like, return. And this will return the value of the next node. So you have to fill in these methods. That's all. And for it's a BSD iterator, so any guesses on what order it's supposed to iterate? Let's do it. Both PR. Yeah, it's supposed to, to do it. We are now. No. In order. In order to. <laughs> Because uh, I think here it says the next smallest number in the BSD, which means what? Which means which order it is? It's it's it's, it's, it's in order. It's in the ascent, it's in the sorted order, right? That means in order. So basically, we are going to see how to do in order recursively. So I'll be talk, talking about a strategy, and if somebody it just gives you a problem and says, okay, give me a tree, just iterate this tree in order iteratively. You just use this strategy. So this, this, this problem ha involves the same central idea as doing just a normal in order. Normal in order means I just visit each node in that order right, and do something with the value. Right? Here you have to do something more. So I thought this was more interesting, so I'll submit this. Okay, so. Uh, for this, it's good to like think about it, but uh, I thought about it for a long time and I really couldn't like find a solution. So I just looked at the answer. Yeah, you have to do it in O of one time and O of H memory. Okay, so that's another good catch. It's not O of one time. What, what, what does the problem say? So average, exactly. So average of one means not every node takes O of one time. There will be some nodes that will take more time than others, but on the whole, if I look at the average, it will be O of one. So again, in my experience. I, I really couldn't like think of how I would like logically arrive at the solution. I I'd rather just show you the solution. Okay. So you can get there is an intuition, but it's very hard to figure out. At one point of time, then we will iterate and then keep saving the elements. Yeah. And yeah. So the thing is, look, you you are at least in the right direction. So you need to have some data structure that can, in all of one time, like get, get me values that are sitting in there, right? And at some point, I run out of the data structure, and I fill it in with other nodes. Because here it says O of H, right? H means the height of the tree. So I can't put all of the nodes in the tree, in, in that data structure. If they told me O of N, then I, I just have like a simple array list, put all the nodes, and I create the constant, right, the constant line. But here it says O of H. So 
in the back in data structure, I can only store as many nodes as like height of one of the branches. So what what data structure do you guys think you could use here? Stack. Why stack? Because you can go down and store all like in order and when you access you'll go back again. Yeah. Okay. You keep it from the smallest to the largest. Okay. So you can store in one order and then like take out in the reverse order. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's good. That's good intuition. But usually, if you use a queue, then what what style are you traversing the tree? Level order. Right? You're doing BFS, right? And is in order BFS or DFS? BFS. Goes back to the question you asked. DFS. DFS. It, it is DFS. Because how, how did we do in order in the last class? We had recursive calls, which is depth first. If there is recursion, that is depth first. Right? So you, you want to simulate that, but with a data structure, so just use stack. If you want to do DFS, then you would use Q. Right? So there is a stack, and let's see what that stack does. Okay, I'm gonna pull this code and let's look at this thing with the tree diagram. <laughs> Oops. Let's say 10, uh, 5, 3, 8, 7, 6, 9, 8 and a half, okay. 18, 15, 13, 17, 19 whatever 28 26 24 yeah so yeah I took a big example because this for our son's idea you want something that's that has like a good depth so so you have a stack and you initialize this iterator with the node of the tree Okay. And the first thing that I'm doing is I will add all the nodes that are on the very left into the stack. That is what I'll do on the very first initialization. There. Okay, so right now my stack has 10, 5, 3. So has 10, 5, 3. Okay. And has next is simple. As long as my stack is not empty, my stack just has all of the nodes I need to use in the future, right? So if I have some node, then I definitely have next. Okay, now we come to the next. Oh shit. I thought I scored on scored on. Oh okay. Okay, I'll just make this thing smaller. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this and, and do a new snapshot. Um, that, that's still like badly legible, but still legible, right? You guys can read it, right? Okay, so like this is like the core of the logic. 
So every time what I do is so right now I have ten five three. Okay. So every time what I do is I pop a node and okay when I call pop which node does it pop? Like pop pop three, right? Because pop stack pops the one that got pushed the last. Okay? So every time I pop a node, so I need to visit in order, right? So I need to visit the nodes that are greater than this guy. Okay? So the, the ones that are greater than him are either in the stack, because that's how I came, or where are they? Right side. They're to the right, right? Yeah. So I go one step to the right. Even in the right, the right could be a tree. So I have to traverse those nodes in the right in the correct order. Right? Even the ones on the right could have like many left and right branches and I have to like traverse in the right order. And what is the right order? Okay. Go to the left again. Exactly. Do the same thing. So every time I pop a node, I add so if I pop this node, I add its complete right branch to the stack. That's all. And then I pop him, it does not have a right branch. And then I look at this guy, I, I, I look at all of its right branch, and then add their right branches. Actually, it's, it's not a right branch, it's just, I'm abbreviating it, but it's actually like the leftmost branch of the right subtree. Okay, on this solution. It's a uh, discuss. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I, I didn't want to like talk through this logically. I, would, I don't even know how one would arrive at this logically. But this is how you normally do iteration because for, uh, even, even for the previous problems you said like we can do it in yeah. both iteration. And exactly. So the normal iteration would be I add things to the stack, right? No, I don't add things to the stack. I just add one node to the stack. I look at that node and then I add its left or right. Yeah. That's normal tree traversal. Like, I want a smallest value. Ah. Normal tree traversal is adding. What is normal tree traversal? You are in order pre-order order. It's pre-order tree traversal. Yeah. Pre-order. Yeah. 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 Even pre-order traversal, you just use tag, right? Except for the BFS. Yeah. Every order is all stack. Stack. Correct. If you want to do iteratively, you just use a stack. Mm -hmm. Because all of those iterations, those traversals can be done through recursion. And hence, you can use stack for it. Okay. Except so for BFS. For yeah, you need to stack for it. So that's what it is. So right now, 10, 5, 3. OK? So right now, I pop 3. Hmm. OK, let me just write that order here. So right now, I pop 3. And I add. I do this. And what will I share? Okay. So right now, my, my stack has this. And I popped, right? It will be null, so the while loop doesn't even run. And then I just return the value, so I return 3. OK, and then I call next again. So this time, what is the node? 5, right? So, and what is 5's right? 8. And I keep doing this. So that means in, the, in my stack, in what order will I add them? Yep. Yep. Six. We have removed the five. Oh yeah, thanks. So now, what what is the one that I pop? Six. And what do I do with six? Nothing, <coughs> right? And then we pop seven. What do I do with seven? seven doesn't Nothing, because the if if they don't have a right child, then how can I iterate that, right? So seven, and then I have eight now, right? And then I pop eight. And then what do I add? Nine and eight. Yep. And then now I look at 8.5. And then nothing there on the right. Now I look at nine. Nothing there on the right. Now you pop ten. And now? Yeah. So 18, no, now, the, the, now when I call pop, I would have called 13, yeah. 13 does not have anything on the right. I call 15. 15 has something on the right, 17. So now I call 17. 
17 has nothing on the right. And now I call 18. And what do I add to the stack? So what, if this left is the stack. So this is same, I mean, this is the uh, same logic for in order traversal with yeah. iteration. Yeah. That's what you're doing, right? Basically, you're doing in order to iterate. Yeah, we'll look at that next. We'll look at that next. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is this. Yeah. It's it's the same thing. So 19 is done. So next is 23, and then I add the leftmost branch of the right child of 23, which is 28, 26, 24, and then I pop them in that order. They don't have their right children. And if you look at this whole order, it'll be in order. Make sense? Okay, so. Same question, but do in order iteratively, right? Pre oh, pre-order, my bad, yeah. So basically you have, so what is the pre-order of this tree? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> the rate did not come out right. Okay. Sorry, what's next? Okay, now you have to do this iteratively. So there is a back end data structure, which is what? Stack. stack. Okay, and what order do you add elements in your stack? Okay. Right, left, and right, left, and root. Okay. Right, left, and root. Okay, so you are saying right, left, and then root. Yeah. So first you add. Right, root dot right. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Root dot right, and then. And then root. Okay, just L. <laughs> and then root. Okay. So now let's let's run this and see. Okay, so my stack currently has nothing. So you add root dot right, 13, left, 5, and then 8. And then where does your while loop start? Okay, so your while loop starts at right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you pop 8. And then what do you do? We added everything too early. Yeah, you added everything too early. Root. Yeah, so the first step is you just add root. Okay? And then what do you do? Pop root and then? Add the right and then add left. Because in the stack, you visit them in the reverse order, right? So you want to add right first and then left. So this should come here. So dot add root. So first I add 8. And then I pop it, and then I print it. So I printed this eight, and then I add right first, and then I add left. And now again I pop five. And then pop, and there is no right or left. No right or left. Okay, these two bodies got printed. Thirteen, add right left and then this guy goes out and then this guy goes out okay pretty straightforward to code
So I am collecting everything in a an array list. So uh, yeah. Yeah. You have to ask the interviewer. So sometimes they choose the obvious return type, but sometimes they can give you a tricky return type. And depending on that, your code will vary. For instance, if they ask you to reverse a string, then what do you think is the return type? String, right? Yeah. But sometimes they say, I want the function to be void. Then what do you do? You print or? Yeah. You are given a character array, you just mutate it. So the code that you write varies vastly. In place. In place. So if I give you a character A, A, B, C, D, then in your place you have to. Yeah, that's why it's, I said character. Yeah, so when you say string cannot mute it, then they know that you know Java well. <laughs> yeah, so basically it's, it's good to know this. So yeah, that's it about data types. Yeah, the interviewer basically calls the shot. So yeah, so you add write first and then add left. And you only add left, they're not Right? Make sense? Okay, let's look at post. Same thing, just post order. This is the only word that changed and this answer compared to the previous question. Okay. Okay, so somebody want to tell me what's the post order traversal of this tree? Thirteen eight. Thirteen. Five thirteen. Wait, wait, one sec. So it's left. Hang on. Left, right, and then visit, right? So eight, I don't know anything at eight because left. And then I don't know anything at five, just left, right? So first thing is two, seven, correct. Five, 10, 14, eight. Okay, now tell me how you want to push this on a stack. Okay, root, and then? That's what we did last time. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. So root, left, and right, okay? Okay, now let's do this. So I add eight, five, 13 and then I pop 13 or no, 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 no so you just add root okay okay fine so you add 8 you pop 8 there itself gone because the first thing you're supposed to print is 2 <laughs> so last time you did root right and left right okay let's look let, let's just do this and see what happens because this seems like a good outcome, right? So, so if you do this, you get eight first, and then on your stack, what do you add? Five and 13, right? Okay, now 13 is gone. And left and right, so I add 10 and 14. And now 14 is gone. And 10 is gone, yeah. And then five is gone and then two and seven. Or sorry, seven and two. Two and seven, so here it will be seven and two. Right? So this is the reverse of that. There was no way for me to like teach this logically also. I just had to give you the solution. I mean, it's, you, you just like memorize this. 
the, these three things in order, pre order, post order, just try to memorize how they are done. Like, if, if, if you didn't know, like, chances are less that you will figure this out in an interview. Reverse. Because, like, just now we saw that happen, right? We, we just tried to do this, and then we were stumped at the very first step, and then we just did not go down that path. So, for some problems, I feel like I have to, like, give the solution out, right? We need to have to reverse it up, finally. Yeah, because look at the orders. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we did something wrong in the order. Like no, 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 you just have to reverse that. So the code is pretty much the same. Like, 